How's, uh, how's it picking it up, the young guy? It's pretty good, man. He'll make some throws. He'll make some throws. It's just like, how the f like the other, like yesterday, he's in practice, full speed running, jump, set his feet, and threw a dig going that way. Yeah, on on the money. We like replayed it. We we're like, what the f was that? He's running left, dig right. This, and he went the f like a shortstop. I was like, what? and the ball just comes That's out so like on a dot. Dope. That's sick. That's and like, awesome. he'll he'll throw balls to me like in zones where I'm like, boom, boom, come out of my break, and it's like, boom. I'm like, okay, kid sees it, sees it. Well. He's gonna be good, man. He'll be a stud. Okay, guys, we'll get started individually and collectively. We're capable of more than we think. We got to spend time at the edge. A summary of that is, hey, we have to challenge each other. We have to push each other to the edge. What does that mean? Well, part of what it means is setting the standard. I was watching Burns go around those hoops today, and I'm like, my goodness. That's challenging everybody that goes around those hoops. We have to find ways to discipline ourselves and spend time at the edge. Not just physically, mentally, right? Emotionally, in every way. We gotta spend time at the edge. We do that, our games grow as they grow individually, then collectively as a team, we grow and we get better as well. Schematically, we're gonna to try to challenge each other. We're gonna put the offense in some impossible situations, you know, where the chains are always against them. We'll do drills where it's almost impossible for the defense to succeed or the special teams to succeed. Let's put ourselves in situation where the success is hard. That's where the greatest opportunity for growth is. Individually, you are capable of way more than you can even think or imagine. And collectively, I really believe, I really believe as a team, we are more capable of anything that we can think or imagine. Okay, so tomorrow's schedule, right, normal, Normal schedule, right? We got the Jets coming in, so this is a great opportunity, right? We know, we know this. We look forward to these opportunities. You know, as an offense, we get to go up against one of the better defenses in the league. They, they put that on tape, right? And then defensively, right, we get a chance. It's a fun, fun time, right, to get to go against one of the all-time great quarterbacks in Aaron Rodgers. Great group of skill guys. This is a, a you know, this will be a potent offense, so it'll be a good test for us defensively. Can't wait to see us execute. Cannot wait to see us execute. You know, it's, it's O and O, right? We want to keep that mentality. So let's dive into it and get the most out of it. The Carolina Panthers hosting a joint practice with the New York Jets. And the teams begin two days of joint practices. Jets are used to the NFL films, cameras, and microphones being there. For the Panthers, this is their chance to get a little play, to get a little attention. Maybe we'll get a couple of seconds in the next episode of Hard Knocks. The attention will be focused on both Bryce Young and Aaron Rodgers, kind of the showstoppers there. Hey, Pat's cracking. Hey, you got the Jets in here. Oh, yeah, it's about to get loud. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Cream get the money. Wu Tang go so. It's not a gang, it's a lifestyle. Everybody knows that. Oh boy. Another damn day. Aggressive. Make us say stop instead of go get them. Right. Aggressive. I don't think that'll make the cut. Hey, the last name Hennessy? Yeah. That's live as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Thanks, bro. Much love. That's live as hell. Hennessy, I wish my last name was Hennessy. <laughs> I'm the police today. I'm police, I'm the fed. I'm the fed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's work. Oh. Come on, baby. 
dial it in. That's perfect. That's perfect. I'll make that play. Come on. Yes, sir. He's in y'all's Gatorade. You can't stop Sam. Can't stop Sam. No, Sam will talk that. Oh, oh. Offense over here. All right, that too. Today? Average. We've had cooler days and we definitely had hotter. Young looks pretty good. Nice if it moves, you can hit it. If it moves, you can hit it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing to do, bro. Do that. That is so weird. What's the point of that? What's the point of that? Let's go. Let's go. You can't come on. You're locked up. You can't come on. You're locked up. You gotta grab my face, man. That's sad. Talking about locked up. What the f you talking about? It's more of just a pride thing. You know, I don't, whenever I've got my jersey on my last name, I don't wanna get embarrassed like that. So, I took it personal, and the next play just kinda set the tone for the offense. <laughs> Die, TB. I said, till the day I die. Can't kill dead. Carolina Panthers, all of a sudden, they tasted a little blood. Panthers drew a little blood, it seemed like. Two minute drill at the end of practice. I got it. I got it. Hey, Zero. Turn that up, baby. Turn that up. Brian Burns, he flashed over and over and over again. You also have a real quarterback. Bryce Young is starting to look good. Keep going. Keep going. Damn it. You blocked this guy. I don't know what that is you just did, but no sexual celebrations, okay? So just be this careful. This practice. I just hey, let you know, brother. I don't want to. So stay right here so I can get a break. The redhead in me came out a little bit. A little bit. Had a tussle. A little something slight. Hey, ref, this was cool? Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 How you doing, baby? That's crazy. We were vibing. Let's go. Let's go. Visual. Visual. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, all in all, good work. Good work. Good job competing. Uh, defense, we did a good job. You feel me? We got some things to clean up. The explosives, the flash plays. Got some things to clean up, but good job finishing out. We finished this.
We know how we, we know how we can compete. You feel me? Like we said, it ain't about them, it's about us. So everything that we see on this film, we gotta fix. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, hey boy, where you at? Good boy. Let's go. Yeah. Break it down. Oh. Let's go, boys. Hey, stay come on, stay come on. Hey, passes on three. One, two, three. Panthers. You ready to see you, hey, yo ass dancing on the field, all type of Well, you gotta have fun with it. No, that's how I am. It's a long time, joke, hot. Joking, all type of got a joke, bro. That, that boy Burns got my ass on one. Bro. It, like, one on one pass, bro. You like, like, all right, sick. You yeah. Every day, like, I'll get in there, and like, if you don't have your feet in the ground, I'm like, oh, yep, yep, he got that one. I got you, bro. Whatever you want to know. I got you, bro. I'll try to cut him off, and he just like jumps it. He's bigger than I thought. Big as f I was like, oh, I, saw, I knew it was quick. Yeah. Whatever, and I was like, God damn. Bro. He's really smart too. Like he'll like if you're aggressive, like on one play, he'll f like file it, and he'll make you f look stupid. As sh he does yeah. me every day. I'm like, you f asshole. You just spin on it. You know what I mean? And you're strong enough to even power through that. Okay, so you talking about like? Alright, I'm here. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. But well, we, we can wear this tomorrow for real. If you want to get out here earlier. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, you know. Good to see you. What's up? My hat? Yeah, I got you. It was a great opportunity for us to go up against different faces, so we were able to grow, and we're going to keep doing it. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. There's someone that's a little rude that looks like is just interjecting, but Brian Burns from BB Love Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, how is it? You know, being on a team with a guy such as Brian Burns. Like, let, let us know about that. Yeah, um, you know, we all get along so well. Like, it's a great concept. And we're like one player, we're one player away from that. We all love each other. It's just a great locker room. There's just that one guy that's just there. And, huh? I, you know, I think people, you know. <laughs> Bryce Spice. What's up, baby? You acknowledged it, though. Bryce Spice. Bryce C. Spicy. I'm not gonna shake your hand for it. I thought we was brothers. I thought we was too. <laughs> you thought you had a friend. I don't call you out your name, big dog. There yeah, you do. I don't. I call you. What, what if I called you out your name? I don't know. Exactly. Give me a hug, man. simple this year. We're going to make it payroll deduct, so all you got to do is sign your name and write down the uh, amount you want to give back. It will be right out front of the dining room. These guys took care, uh, really good care of us these last two weeks, so let's make sure that we uh, take good care of them, right? Undrafted rookies, you guys don't have to worry about this, all right? You guys uh, have enough to worry about. <laughs> Also, these last couple days I've had some concerns about showering before going back to the tub. So let's finish this strong, right? That's dirty. That's all I got for you. Panthers were scheduled to have another day of joint practices with the New York Jets today. Mother Nature had other plans. The heavy rain that moved through the southeast forced the Panthers to cancel today's workout, which would have been the final practice of training camp. Appreciate everyone hopping on this call just as we wrap up camp. I want to start by just thanking all the fans that came out here to Spartanburg over the last couple of weeks. It's really fun for us to interact with our fan base like that and hopefully the start of good things. It was unfortunate that we had to do what we did today as far as no practice with the Jets, but we'll look forward to the game here on Saturday. Hey, give him a five. Give him a five. Give him a five. Oh, yeah. Nash. Nash, what's up, buddy? How's dad? Noah. Noah, what's up, buddy? Oh, I see you. Yeah. Great, so. We're good. You guys didn't want to run it back, huh? Yeah, it was us, right? 
<laughs> There's that phrase on the show uh, on Sex and the City. And just like that, mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. Panthers training camp was over. Uh, it was great. Uh, it was a great experience. A lot of growth, a lot of learning. Um, and really, I think one of the reasons that made it so special was just the environment. Um, having all the fans be able to come out here, the atmosphere that you know our fans were able to bring to the table means a lot to us. It means a lot to me. And you know, it was something that was super special. Um, I'm excited for next year. It's been cool. It's been hot, man. We got some good work done. Now we trying to take the same intensity, same, you know, same fight, same bite. Back to Charlotte, man. So long, Sparkle City, you know? Finally leaving Whopper, man. Best year yet. Excited to get back to Charlotte. Do it. Back to Queen City. And welcome to Bank of America Stadium, sun spangled, muggy Saturday afternoon. The Panthers open this new era at home in the preseason against the New York Jets. And we get our first glimpse at what we hope is a promising future here in Charlotte and the Carolinas. That's a once in a lifetime experience that's, you know, it's the first step of, you know, something that I've dreamed of my whole life. It's a dream and a blessing that I'm here. And now Bryce Young, to the applause of this crowd, will take his first snap for the Carolina Panthers. Shotgun snap, Young scans the field. Yeah, um, it's part of, part of the job. Um, it, it's always gonna be part of football. Um, you get hit. You know, it's weird kind of, you go so long without getting hit in practice, you don't get hit at all. There's no like precursor to it. So it's always good to kind of get that first one out of the way of like, oh yeah, like I, you know, once you get one, feel like you're right back in the swing of, of season. Flips it and it's complete. His first pass out to the 35 yard line, it's to Adam Thielen. At the moment, you're thinking about the next play and you're thinking about, you know, how the throw went and the play went and it doesn't really register in, in real time, honestly. And he took a hit. Yeah, couldn't ask for a better. I know, like, perfect. Yeah. Like if you scripted it, it'd be like completion and it hit me really hard. Yeah, That's, yeah. no doubt. It's been great having Andy around. Um, someone who is, you know, first and foremost, just a great person. Like, just, just a, a really good dude. Hey, you look good. Appreciate that. Let's go get him. Hey, you look good too. You know what I mean? Go get him. Yeah. Go get him. It's not part of his job description to help me to go and take me under his wing to go answer all the questions that I ask, which are a lot. So you're gonna, all the little things, I love it. There'll be pictures of like before the snap and then right when the ball was snapped. So you can kind of see what coverage they were playing and what they did. So yeah, the first time I forgot about that. It was a surreal experience for sure. You have the half of the brain that's you know, thinking about the plays and, you know, game plan and how we're going to execute, move the ball. But I tried my best to take a step back, enjoy the moment. And, you know, it's definitely was something special. Like first time in the stadium, trying to figure out where to go, his game day routine, uh, but also his overall demeanor of always being cool, calm and collective. So I think it's watching him go from in OTAs to training camp to getting closer towards matching his offense has been great to see. I'm super, super grateful that I'm here. I'm super grateful to be here with this team, with this coaching staff, and, you know, in this city. So, um, really, it, it's, a, it's a big blessing for me. And welcome to East Rutherford, New Jersey, and MetLife Stadium. Preseason week two, Panthers and Giants. Huh? Want to say something to your family? I'm Mike Duck. You want to say something or what? Oh, hey, Mom. Love you. Miss you. I think you're somewhere here, hopefully soon. But That's from Bryce right Young. You know, you feel having a locker room that we do, people that are all about the team and want to win. I can tell that this is just a really special locker room, a special group to be a part of. Everyone needs everyone's help out there. That's why it's the ultimate team sport. It takes all of us. One can play at a time. Play for the brother next to you and impose your fucking will today. Bring it in. The way this team is built, and if the offensive line can be just as good as it was a season ago with Miles Sanders and Adam Thielen and DJ Chark and the pieces around Bryce Young, they don't need him to come into week one wearing some kind of superhero cape. 
like 100% every time we go out there, we want to score. Um, we want to be successful in, in every play we call. Um, again, that, that's just the competitive spirit we have. Touchdown, Carolina! We were able to really come together, having a coaching staff that is super smart, super experienced, dedicated, but also having leaders that lead by example and, you know, push us to be the best. Preseason is about figuring out from a coach's perspective. I cannot trust them when the lights are really on. I mean, you ignore the outside noise, but just focus on that daily improvement is the overall goal. You know, that mission doesn't stop. There's going to be ups and downs, you know, trying to work out the kinks. I'm going to take it on the chin a little bit in preseason to hide some things that we're going to do in the regular season. Coach Reich and the coaching staff, they have a plan. They have a reason for everything. The, the goal is to get ready for it and get ready for the regular season. So everything we're doing is geared around that.